내가 This on an average takes about a minute, minute and a half to set. Once it is set, you remove it off. Now the U-frame goes in. Right? This is where my assistant puts the U-frame into the patient's ear. <coughs> this is where you take your patient's help and ask the patient, has it gone into both the auditory neatuses correctly or not? Okay, has it gone in both sides? As soon as the patient nods a yes, there are two thumb screws here. You will lock these thumb screws. Now this is where your two posterior reference points are in plane. You will put your bite fork back inside. See, this is how the patient is to hold it. The flat end goes in like this, locked inside. The other end, see this groove here, yes, so this fits into this groove and you lock this end. Right. What you will do is now mark the anterior reference point. Right. See palpating somewhere around here. This is where I feel that ditch. Right. So I will mark that area with a permanent marker. Just a small dot. Point. What I will do now is I will open up this. See that anterior reference point coming in? Right. All I need to do is lift this. Orient this to the third point of reference and I will lock this off. Whenever you are locking this, apply as much force as you possibly can to lock it. Can you appreciate U-frame recording the reference plane? This recording the occlusal plane, transfer assembly holding the entire assembly together. Once this is done, it's time to remove. The first thing that you will do is open these lock nuts. What will happen? This will open up. Ask the patient to leave. And your face voice done. If your fork has gone in correctly, everything will work smoothly. Most important is the positioning of the fork. It has to be in the center. Okay? This is how your face bow record looks. See this? The same thing. This is your anterior third point of reference. Two posterior. Two posterior, one anterior. And the transfer assembly holding everything together. Whenever I'm doing a full mouth rehabilitation case, a face bow is taken twice. First for the diagnostic mounting, the second for mounting the maxillary cast after all the teeth have been packed. So a face bow is done twice during the entire course of treatment. When I'm discussing case presentations, that is when we will address this aspect. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you.